Yes, we get it. You have a tiny weenus. I don't know if you guys can see this on the camera, but the Tesla in front of us has a personalized license plate that says, No Dino. Jeez. white suburban the sleeper bourbon we made it all the way down the mountains up over Bertha Pass back down here and we're on the eastern plains going from somewhere up north down to somewhere southish down by like Parker area and uh, we're going from Watkins Colorado to Elizabeth Colorado via the scenic route yes anyway I'm pretty impressed because uh, the suburban's still running um, faulty fuel pump and dying 4L60E be damned. So Zach and I were just having an adventure. Yeah. We, um, uh, we just saw Bobby and Alan. We were over at Alan's shop. Yep. Yeah. And uh, we're going to go see Rich and John Cahi and those guys. And then after that, we're going to head to uh, Carl Otto's place and drop off our dumpster fire off-roads race car motor uh, to motors. get motors multiple motors to get rebuilt so anyway just tooling along here on the eastern plains seeing the sights it's pretty nice I like it out here right it's pretty quiet man it's a pretty nice little Sunday drive so here we are we're down here at uh, Adrenaline Driven Motorsports I go. said it right <laughs> uh, John Cahey's shop hanging out Zach and Rich and Caitlin and John. Hey. And look at this. In their shop, they have this wonderful little hangout area. So when you're uh, sad because you've been working on your race car, <laughs> you can come over here and refresh yourself and renew your attitude. So we've been hanging out. It's been great. But we're back on the road because we got to head on down to uh, Carl's place. Still a lot of driving left to do. All right, so we're here at Carl's shop, looking over. Hi, Carl. Hi. Looking over this uh, this offending race car motor. We're gonna see if we can find anything that's wrong with it. Yeah. So here, look at this. So everything's dry in this uh -huh. one. Uh huh. Yep. And then you look in this. Oh one. yeah, it's all wet. Yep. And you think that could be indicative of a bad injector? That'd be my guess. Either that or a bad coil. Uh, so there's some indications that we might not be in as much hot water as we thought, which would be really great. You should have seen the mess in Jeff's garage last night. Coolant and kitty litter everywhere. <laughs> it was awful. It's still on the bottom of my shoes. Well, I can, you can see how it's been sheared off. Oh, come on, focus, camera. Yeah, you can't. 
see how they don't come out of it. Whereas yeah. this one, there is nothing if you wipe that one. Yeah. Yeah. All right, look at all these parts. So, we tore it apart, well, we, Carl tore it apart. We watched. We watched, we learned, we learned a lot of good things, mm. saw a lot of carnage. Shiny parts. And by parts, he means the forbidden glitter, and not just glitter, but actual chunks. Anyway, we're gonna pack up and head back up the hill. We're gonna hope that the U-joint on the Suburban holds up, the 4L60E holds up, the fuel pump holds up, all the myriad parts on the old Suburban it, uh, hold at together. At this point, the Suburban, it's in the Lord's hands. <laughs> it's in the Lord's is hands. It her, is it her time to meet Jesus? We don't but know. But she's not with the Lord yet, so yet. Let's, uh, let's keep it that way. Anyway, that's what I know. All right, it is Sunday. Well, gosh, it's noon. It's post time change. <clears throat> so my system has no idea what's going on. But it is Sunday. It's the weekend. Down here in the shop, working on building my GoPro test skid. Doing some cutting there. Doing some layout down here. Got my motor with the low the gear reducer for the low speed i'm gonna call it a reluctor wheel i'll come up with a better term got my industrial vibrator and then i just have to lay out a skid the other thing that i like to do is i cut off like if i'm throwing away an appliance i cut off the cord ends and save them so i can wire stuff in like that motor later anyway i'll be working on this throughout the day and um I'll grab my better camera so I can get you better footy here. But yeah, like I said, post time change. It's kind of a weird morning, but I'll keep posting. All right, back with a better camera. Still Sunday afternoon. Well, it's not still. It is now Sunday afternoon. And uh, I'm still working on the GoPro test skid. Got the motor down there. Reluctor wheel. Like I said, not 100% sure what to call it. I'm calling it a reluctor wheel, an analog reluctor wheel, because that piece of angle is acting as the magnet pickup blobbity bloop, so when it runs around, it does its thing. Anyway, welding on the hinge for the action bar, and then I'm gonna weld the base plate together so what I got. All right, so I think she's done. Here we are. Basically, got your wheel there, your vibrator here, and up here is where I'll build a little platform there. And that's where your GoPro will go. Let's plug it in and see what happens. All right, first, we'll fire that up. Today we're going to take the race car chassis down to Tom Prendergast in Evergreen at Fire River Racing. He's going to help us look over the whole thing, put some experienced eyes on, and uh, we're going to put some gussets on it and change a few things around and get it ready to start putting back together because remember we got it all stripped. Yesterday went over and loaded up at Jeff's house, got it all put on the trailer, 
myself and Jeff and like 400 girls loaded it. Um, hashtag girl dad, you know, that's what we do. Another thing we did yesterday, cut up a super heavy duty bunk bed, Zach and I did. I made an easy hundred bucks. Somebody welded this bunk bed together inside of a condo unit up at Wyndham Park. They couldn't get it taken apart. So I brought my specialized tools. We cut it up, vacuumed the floor, made a sweet hundred dollar bill. Anyway, we're heading down to the city. It's going to be fun. There we go, all loaded up. What are you up to, Hopper? I'm just about to watch some magic happen. This in the industry is what's referred to as a plasma table. This in the industry is what's referred to as a big yellow dummy. As opposed to me freehanding it with my plasma cutter. <laughs> look! It really fell off at the end over here. <laughs> so I'm using an actual like big boy. Look at this sucker. Compared to my little little miller at home, this is this is a big boy hardware. Pretty exciting. We'll see. Big boy. Big boy. So I've always welded. I've been a self-taught welder. I've used YouTube and I've used books, a lot of YouTube, um, but it's always super awesome to have somebody such as Tom uh, give you pointers and tips. Tom is a very experienced welder. He's a actual professional, whereas I'm just a hobbyist. So it was super awesome having him look over my shoulder, critique my work, and give me pointers. Dad was looking over your shoulder. What do you think? No, like, what do I need to do different? Okay. It's good. Pretty good and great horseshoe hand grenades. Pull material from the puddle or from here to here and just stitch the two pieces together. Uh huh. So you so are you going front to back. So you're just like hanging out in here and using the wire yeah. to manipulate the puddle and like yeah. just smooge it all in. See how you're carrying Dude, both sides see, of the like, Yeah, see this is way prettier. Look at that. <laughs> there you go. And pretty it's not, it's not perfect. <laughs> Did you see that one? <laughs> There's definitely I mean don't focus on it too much, the Jeff. In a minute, don't just come look at this one. <laughs> <laughs> well, because of the orientation, it's going to be easier to go that way. So, Just but, use your other hand. a pusher. My left hand? Yeah. What is this guy, ambidextrous? <laughs> yeah, you got to figure <laughs> out how to do that. <laughs> I mean, I use it sometimes. I call it stranger. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty. Hell yeah. Slow down a little bit. Slow down. All right. All right, but now yes. I'm moved to over here.
Well, we got the chassis back up here. It's not nice weather. Maybe someday, spring or summertime or something like that will come around. But until then, the sun's trying to come out. See up, up there somewhere? Yeah, sun's trying to come out. The snow's just hanging on for dear life. So that's what we got going. We're going to paint that chassis coming up here. In the meantime, I'll see you all around like a donut. Bye.